In this lab, what we're doing is measuring the flow of air through our turbo compressor project using a homemade venturi tube. The source of air is this one horsepower ring blower, and it blows air through a turbocharger, which we had set up last year just to show how a rotating machine uh, moves and vibrates. The whole PLC system was built uh, around the turbocharger to ensure it gets the proper lubrication oil and uh, startup times, shutdown times. Right now we're doing, uh, using this turbocharger simply as a flow of air to measure. So you see the air is coming out of the turbo exhaust, going down to this homemade venturi. The high pressure side is tapped into the large diameter, the low pressure side in the small diameter. You produce a pressure drop as air flows through there. At the bottom, this thing simply vents out into the atmosphere. So it simply blows air down towards the ground. What we're doing is measuring this pressure drop using a Rosemount 3051 DP cell right here. It's currently reading out at inches of water. That is sending a one to five volt signal to a data acquisition unit, which has been scaled to register in units of Hertz, which is our fan speed control. We're using an Allen Bradley variable speed motor drive to drive different frequencies to our ring blower fan to produce different air flows. The idea being, as we change the frequency of the drive, the fa fan speed will change and that will change the airflow. For this style of blower, the airflow is directly proportional to the speed of the fan. And the speed of the fan, of course, is directly proportional to the frequency we're sending it, being an induction motor. So the idea being, as we change frequency, we change airflow, and we should be able to measure that with the Venturi tube. Currently, we have this scaled so that at the full airflow rate of fan spinning at 60 hertz, we get about 19.3 inches of water column differential measured by the transmitter. At that pressure, it puts out 20 milliamps, and this data acquisition software has been scaled to display 60 hertz at that pressure. So, 60 hertz at the fan, 19.3 inches of water column differential, 60 hertz displayed. And because everything's scaled properly and we have the square root function set inside the transmitter, it sh this should read linearly with fan speed. So we'll go through a startup sequence and show you how this works. Now a turbo is going through the startup sequence, the oil pump has started. In about 15 more seconds, the fan will kick on and we'll begin to see a differential pressure develop right here. And we'll see this begin to read. There goes the air valve and the fan's turning on. There we go. So currently we're reading on our display about 6.6 .6 inches of water column differential. That equates to about 35.2 RPM on our display. As you can see, we have 35 RPM on our variable speed drive. If we increase the speed manually using the up control, we'll boost this up to a higher RPM, a higher frequency. You can hear the pitch of the fan increase. Fifty four point four seven hertz near full speed. Fifty four, fifty five hertz here indicated. Keep in mind this is not directly reading the frequency of the motor, it's reading the signal coming from our differential pressure transmitter, which is reading pressure drop across the venturi. So it's a very indirect way of measuring fan speed. But the principle is to show that it works. Likewise, I can take the variable speed motor drive and turn its speed down to it's well below what we were originally at. As we do this, it slows down the fan. That blows less air to the venturi tube. The venturi tube drops less pressure. The DP cell picks up that reduced pressure drop, outputs less milliamps, and the data acquisition software will display a lower reading. Because we've gone through all the calculations, we've calculated the necessary conversion factors to equate fan speed to differential pressure, it should work just fine. Right now we have 18 hertz on our variable speed drive, and this over here is reading a little over 18 hertz on our display. Again, it's measuring this fan speed based on the differential pressure it senses at the Venturi tube. I was surprised how active this turned out to be given the crudeness of the Venturi tube. As we can see over here, as you saw before, the Venturi is nothing more than a, a few sections of PVC pipe with some pressure caps put into it. Nothing fancy at all, simply blowing out into the atmosphere. I can feel the air right here. But it is working quite effectively as a flow measurement device.